We will take a look at the IronCAD mechanical tools catalog and some of the commands. First of all, how many parts are there in the scene? Well, to get the answer I will use count parts command. This one, I will drag and drop it in the scene and we will see that uh, now there is 141 parts. Every part has an anchor. This plate has an anchor and the anchor is set to drag along surfaces. So when the anchor is set to drag along surfaces, it can happen that you can drag the part by accident and drop it in a place where you don't want it. Of course you have to undo that, but to avoid that to happen, you can fix the anchor to set the anchor to uh, disallow drag. And to fix all anchors in the scene, you can use a command that called fix anchors. If a part is selected in the scene and you drag and drop the fix anchor command here in the scene, only the uh, anchors that are selected will be fixed. So in this case, it's only one anchor for the plate. So therefore, I have to deselect and left drag and drop it in the scene and all anchors for all part will be fixed. And now it's uh, 141 anchors that are fixed. Then we have another command, set material. If I want to set the material for this side plate, I could of course go to properties and type in the right material and set the right density, but I can also use set material. I just drag and drop the material here on the side plate and I can click this drop down menu and I can pick a material from this drop down menu and I will select that one. Then I can click OK and the material is set. You can see that here in the property browser. Then if we go down here to face to DXF. If you want to create this side plate, you have to unfold it and then create a drawing, a DXF file and send that to a cutting machine. But you can use face to DXF to create that DXF file you need. So I just drag and drop it on the on the part and it will save this file, DXF file, and I will replace this one because I have done this before. And uh, you will have a preview of the DXF file here. And that DXF file contains the side plate with the holes, but also some text. And in iPro settings, you can choose what, what you want to have in the DXF file. Here in the Utils tab, you have Export Face to DXF. Here you can choose what you want to be written in the DXF file. If you uncheck all these boxes, no text will be written inside the DXF file you will only have the, uh, the the side plate. So in iPro settings and utils you find that information and the, the options you will have. Then we will go to uh, code generator. We have it here. I will go to the upper handle. I will select it and I will hide unselected and uh, I will select it in part level and I will drag a code generator drop it on the upper handle you are presented with this dialog and uh, here we have two tabs custom data and we have also variables there are already four variables set and uh, it's for height length width and weight when it comes to weight, you can choose what kind of weight you want to see, uh, gram or pounds or ounces. In my case, I will choose gram. If we click this cell, you will have additional properties to select from the selected part in the scene. I will choose shell feature. We see that the thickness of the shell is 2.5 millimeters. But I will name this variable, I will name it T, and the decimal will be 1. I will change to one decimal to each one of them, like so. Then we go to custom data. Here you can uh, add your own variables or your own expressions. And uh, in this case I will give it the name length. And the expression will be uh, less than 
h and greater than and it's important that this expression w is typed like this with a less than h and greater than in this case because otherwise you will not get the information the value from this variable here in the variables tab next one I will call thickness and that expression will be less than t and greater than then you will have the information t comes from variables and this one then I will also have some information in the username and also in description for username I would like to know the diameter of the of the handle and also the length of it so I will type the diameter sign and the expression will be less than w and greater than and w is for the ver variable here uh, with and then I will hit the space bar I will type for length uh, L equals less than H and greater than and I will copy that information and paste it in description then I will click OK you will see that we have the information I will also do like this I will right click uh, find a scene browser and you have it here upper handle diameter 30 length 400 you will also have the information in description and if you want to add more information you just right click the part and open codification dialog and uh, you can add the information you want so we we'll close this dialog and I will bring all back so this was some of the commands you find here in the IronCAD Mechanical Tools Catalog.